Spring Integration Routers. Welcome back for part five of our Spring Integration tutorial. This is Jim White with Intertech. Through the last tutorials, we were looking at a number of Spring Integration message endpoints. In particular, in the last tutorial, we were looking at transformers. Transformers take a message from a message channel and convert it to another message, either a message with a different payload or message structure. For example, in Spring Integration, we have a number of built-in transformers that take XML messages and change them into Java object message and vice versa, or take a JSON message and transform that to an object message or again, vice versa. Lots of different built-in Spring Integration transformers come out of the box. But you can also create your own custom transformer using a simple plain old Java object. Yet another one of Spring Integration's message endpoints is the router, which is the topic for today's discussion. Routers act as message distribution components. That is, they take a message from one channel, we'll call it the inbound channel, and move it to one or more other channels, which we'll call outbound channels. Some routers will inspect the message as it gets the message off the inbound channel to determine which outbound channels to send the message to. We call these types of routers content routers. Content routers examine the message before determining which outbound channels to send the message to. And there are all sorts of content routers built into Spring Integration. We have payload type content routers that are going to look at the type of message that is in the payload. Header value content routers, which look at the value in the header to determine which channel receives a message. We also have XPath and Spring Expression language content routers that will evaluate some expression, either XPath or a spell expression, to determine where to send that outbound message. Recipient list routers, on the other hand, don't look at the message. They simply take the inbound message and pass it on to all of the outbound channels that are in a recipient list provided the router. Interestingly, routers actually have a couple of different EIP icons to display them inside of our enterprise integration pattern diagrams. You'll see the one for both the content router and the recipient router here on the slide. And here's an example of a content router, a very simple one. In this case, messages coming into the inbound channel are going to have their content explorer, their payload explorer. Those that have a message type that contain a double as its payload will go to the double channel. Those messages that have an integer as their payload go to the integer, integer channel. It's that simple. And here's an example of a recipient list router. Recipient list routers, again, do not inspect the message. They simply take the message from a channel, in this case, the inbound channel, and distribute it to its list of recipients. In this case, both outbound A and outbound B channels will receive any messages that come into the inbound channel. Well, are you ready to tackle an exploration of routers? In Lab 5, we're going to have you explore a couple of different routers. One, what we call a content router, is going to use XPath expressions to determine how to route messages, that is XML payload messages, into one of a couple of different channels. In the second part of the lab, you'll explore a recipient list router, where messages won't be examined. Instead, all messages from an inbound channel will simply be sprayed to the list of recipient channels provided with the recipient list router. Good luck with Lab 5, and we hope to see you back for our Tutorial 6, where we look at enrichers. Again, another one of Spring Integration's message endpoints.